Hi, and welcome to another video. Today I will explain how to optimize low resolution images. Let's go. As you see, our start image has 680 pixels in width and 384 pixels in height, which is really small. Also it is a black dog which can be difficult to prepare for engraving, so I will show you how I would do it. First we open up ImageR and navigate to enhance in the top menu. Upload your image and choose your multiplier, I will use 3. Now let's compare these two images. As you see, the original and the enhanced image have basically the same quality, but the enhanced one is three times bigger which makes it way easier for future preparation. Now we navigate to sharpen in the top menu on image art and upload the enhanced image. As you see, the sharpen amount is on 6 by default. I would recommend to leave it like this, since too much sharpening can create weird artifacts and doesn't look natural at all. Let's compare the sharpened and the enhanced one to make the result more visible. Since it's a black dog we can use color correction on it, this is perfect for images like that. Navigate to image art and choose color correction, upload the sharpened image from before. As you see we have also default settings for the color correction, you don't have to mess with it for most images. However, by clicking on the question mark you can see some hint what the slider exactly does. Now we can process our image as usual in image R. I will resize to 200 mm in width and use 254 dpi. For material I will use the Norton Wood option. Since the image is a little too dark for me, let's increase the gamma value. Perfect, now we can download and engrave this image without any issues. As you see, we have awesome details on the eyes and the fur. Let's try another image, this time we will use a white one. Again, we enhance the image by the factor of 3. Now we can sharpen the enhanced image. On white images the effect is more difficult to see, but you can see some changes on the fur for example. Let's move on to color correction. Again I won't change anything on the sliders and just download the result. Let's compare them quickly. If you watch at the faces, or the dark spots on the legs, you can clearly see the improvements. We have way more details as before, which will be important for engraving them later. Since there's a white background which will definitely show some lines after processing, we will remove it with the background removal tool on image R. Now we only have to process the image for engraving. Again, I will use 200 millimeters in width. 254 dpi Now I will apply some auto adjustment from the advanced section This will make the dogs way darker but that's not an issue Because we can fix that with the color correction after Now I will slightly increase the gamma value and we are done here Last step is of course applying an algorithm In my case again Norton Wood Now just save the image as PNG or BMP, and you're ready to go. I hope this video was helpful, please leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to never miss out any future content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.